Good morning. This is Good News Friday. Uh, the war against globalism. You know, I've been carefully optimistic for quite some time, but now I'm optimistic. I think we are winning because we are fighting on their side of the court now. And they don't seem to understand what's going on, you see, and that's another good thing for us. It works in our favor. They don't understand this. They think it's some sort of organized attack on them, right? Maybe by the Russians. Uh, and they don't get it, that it's the people. It's millions and millions of people who talk to each other and agree on things and then start to attack these bastards. So that's what's going on, and they don't get it. They thought they were winning, you see. They had all the money, uh, these organizations, uh, controlled media and, and everything. And they uh, tried to silence us. Uh, they put some bans on some of us. And they even put some people in jail. But they are losing. That's what I think. It looks great, yeah. Here in the, Europe, it's the EU. This is like the mecca of globalism here in Europe. and. The EU uh, used to be, at least, this, the picture of the EU was this harmony. You know, they, had all, they were agreeing on things. They loved each other, you see. We're just one big fa family. And now this is changing. As the EU is crumbling, they are starting to fight each other. Yeah. And it's, uh, you know, Angela Merkel is one example. You know, she's got a way of criticizing people uh, without being straight, you see, and people feel bad. She's arrogant. Yeah. So, uh, and she's very much part of this conflict. This conflict's building up more and more com conflicts in Brussels these days. And, you know, the French and the Germans, they were supposed to be friends here in Brussels, but now, no, it's not working anymore. It's fun to see, and it's, it's very much thanks to Angela Merkel, I think, but also Macron, of course. He's just a stupid man. <laughs> he wants to play tough, you see. So uh, that's going on. And then, and now all these net payers, these member states who pay money into the EU budget, uh, they, don't, they don't want to pay more, you see. And uh, Brussels, they are talking about being tougher on member states and so on. So that's what's going on. Yeah, it's great. And then it's the climate. Yeah, this has nothing to do with the EU, this story at least. This is from Africa. You know, one, uh, another one of the, these scientist uh, predictions failed. Al Gore predictions, you see. And this is the Mount Cal Kilimanjaro. The, the highest peak in Africa. It's an old volcano. So, uh, yeah, they predicted that there will be no more snow on Kilimanjaro <laughs> before we entered this decade, right? And a lot of people believe this, of course. So they a lot of people decided to go there while there was still snow there, you see? <laughs> it's good. And there's a guide here. His name is Metley. He's the owner of the Just Kilimanjaro Trekking Company. He's been working there for a long time. He did 115 trips to the top. This is what this guy is saying. Uh, the snow has certainly got my clients talking, he says. <laughs> Many people have made Kilimanjaro a bucket list priority because of the Al Gore deadline. But when they get here, they are pleasantly surprised to find lots of snow. Yeah. And they also had abnormally high snowfalls in 2018, which led to the highest recorded growth for the total snow depth on Tanzania's inactive volcano. And he said, um, over the past two decades, uh, uh, the, he reported that his clients was very surprised at seeing huge glaciers uh, a couple of stories high. <laughs> yeah. uh, I think it's funny. Yeah, they, they are gone, aren't they? These climate activists, these alarmists. Yeah, they are going to lose too. They are. 
uh, about this group that I talked about yesterday, this Norwegian group, uh, Climate Rebellion Against Climate Hysteria or something. Uh, yesterday I checked, uh, it was uh, 70,000 members and today it was 110, I think. So it's growing very rapidly. Yeah, I'm optimistic. We have the truth on our side, you see. That's the thing. And we have common sense. Okay, that's all. I wish you a great weekend. Bye.